Shalom, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I just, uh, I wanted to make a quick video about something that really ate at me when it first happened. And I almost wish I was active on YouTube when I first started. Uh, I almost wish I was active on YouTube when um, this happened. I want to talk about that poor man that was killed in Milwaukee um, about three months, maybe four months back, named Burnell Trammell. Now, this man, all he did was espouse a, a Christian doctrine that at worst was kind of strange to some people and um, proselytize that Donald Trump was prophesied to be the president. And um, of course, we know that he's wrong now. Biden ended up winning the election. And whether you think Trump, whether you think there was corruption involved in that or not, it's irrelevant. Biden is going down in the history books as the winner. But then again, this means that Burnell Tremel was killed for almost no reason. Just a political view and a religious view that somebody didn't agree with and somebody shot him in the back for it. And what I don't like is that people are donating. Somebody put, an anonymous donor put out $20,000 for the reward of somebody to turn this guy in. And I don't know if people are just so angry at Burnell Tremel for supporting Trump and being whatever kind of Christian they don't like, I don't understand. And the reason I'm making this video is because I don't want this to go away. I don't want people to think that there's certain people out there that just deserve to die because they have a difference in political opinion or they don't adopt to this, the regular status quo. Burnell Trammell was a black man. He was a black man who wore dreadlocks proudly. He once subscribed to Rastafarianism. He was a re he was a respected member of his community. He was a respected member of the Milwaukee community, not just the black community, but everybody loved him. Everybody like and even if people didn't believe in the doctrine he was preaching, they still found entertainment in him. I'm not going to say that there is a good reason that Burnell Trammell got killed. And I hope that anybody who does try to say that he deserved to die is hopelessly ashamed of themselves. They should be ashamed of themselves. And if the guy, if, if the filthy savage that murdered this poor man without reason, without good reason anyway, is listening to this right now, I hope you turn yourself in. I hope the guilt eats at you. And I hope that Yahweh Most High takes his vengeance upon you. And I hope he judges you righteously. Because what you did to that man does not sit right with me. I'm hopelessly angry about the fact that it happened. And I don't like that people aren't talking about it now. I really don't. I don't want this to go away. I don't want people to forget the name Burnell Trammell. And I want people to remember that Burnell Trammell was a black man who was killed for being a Christian Trump supporter. Or a, a Hebrew Israelite Trump supporter. That's why he got killed. He was a Trump supporter and he had a religious adherence. It, I mean, if they're, that's the only thing I can go on because the guy who killed him won't turn himself in and explain his motive. I don't know if it's because he's ashamed of it and he doesn't want to face what he did. I don't know if, he, if he's just cold towards it and unfeeling about it, but I had to make this rant and get this off my chest. I'm really sorry I wasn't putting it out there. Yahweh Most High, please rest the soul of Burnell Trammell. And I'm, Burnell, I'm looking forward to seeing him in heaven. Shalom v'bracha b'shem Yeshua hamashiach v'chem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I wish peace and blessings upon all of you. God rest the soul of Burnell Trammell. Peace.